converting decimal to hexadecimal. Again, this is a two-step process. We take our decimal number, we convert it to binary first, then we take the binary number and convert it to hexadecimal. Let's go ahead and do that as a refresher here. So let's take the decimal number 37. Okay, and we want to convert that to binary first. Remember how to do that? We subtract each of the values in the value column from the decimal number. So we write our number out here first, 37. And then we say, will 128 go into 37? No, it will not. 128 is larger than 37, so that is a false. So we put a zero. Will 64 go into 37? No, it will not. Again, that's another false. Will 32 go into 37? Yes, it will. That is a true. Now we have to subtract 32 from 37, and that leaves us with 5. Will 16 go into 5? No, it will not. That's another false. Will 8 go into 5? Again, another false. 4 into 5? Yes, that's a true. We subtract 4, and we're left with 1. Will 2 go into 1? No, that is a false. Will 1 go into 1? Yes, that is a true. And that should have been a false over here. Catching my mistakes as I go along here. Most of the time, that's where you're going to make your mistakes. It's just typing in a wrong number, not paying attention. Uh, again, that's a true. 1 does go into 1. We subtract 1, and you come out with 0. Remember what I said before in the previous lesson. You should always come out with 0 at the end, and you'll know you have it right. So, the binary equivalent of the hexades or the decimal number 37 is 00100101. Now we just simply convert this to hex. Take each of the nibbles, the first four and the last four here, and convert them using our chart. So we use 0010. We go down our binary list here to 0010 right here. And that equals a hexadecimal of 2. So we put 2 up here, and then we have 0, 1, 0, 1. We go down our binary list here to 0, 1, 0, 1, and that is a 5. So the hexadecimal equivalent of our decimal number 37 is 25, but don't forget to write that in a correct form. Down here, you'll see that you either write that as 0x25 or 25h. That denotes that that number is in hexadecimal, because 25 looks like a decimal number, but it's actually the hexadecimal equivalent of the decimal number 37. So once again, a two-step process. You've done them before. Convert your decimal to binary, and then your binary to hex.